In this section and in a few other sections coming, we are going to learn how spreadsheet software helps you analyze data and make business decisions. You'll become familiar with the different elements of a spreadsheet and learn your way around the Excel program. So the question is, what is Microsoft Excel and what is spreadsheet software? Microsoft Excel is the electronic spreadsheet program that comes with Microsoft Office, with the Microsoft Office suite. An electronic spreadsheet or a spreadsheet is an application that you use to perform numeric calculations and to analyze and present numeric data. One advantage of a spreadsheet is uh, over pencil and paper is that your calculations are updated automatically and you can change entries without having to recalculate them manually. So some of the abilities uh, or what you can do with Excel as you'll see later in these sessions are entering data quickly and accurately, recalculating your data easily, performing what's called if what if analysis. So what if I sold twice as many units? What would be the profit, for example? And then how to change the appearance of information, create charts, and um, use the different functions and formulas in Excel. So let's get started here. So uh, basically, uh, like I said, Microsoft Excel, it's part of the Office suite. So to get to it, you go under Programs, and then you go under Microsoft Office, and then you'll pick Microsoft Excel. As soon as you open Microsoft Excel, you'll be presented with the um, similar window, just like you're used with Microsoft Word. This is the Office ribbon, and I'm not going to go through all the settings here and all the things here, but you have the Home tab with the most common stuff, uh, common functions within this application. Then you go under Insert, where you can insert different uh, additional components, formatting, the page layout, and then formulas, this is kind of different from what you might have been used in Microsoft Word and other applications because it, it deals with uh, calculations. And then you have data as well, a data tab, getting data from other systems and other sources, and review, view, and add-ins. So it's pretty much very similar. It's using the Office ribbon. That's the concept to so keep in mind at this point. It's using the Office ribbon, which is uh, same as in Microsoft Word and other uh, Office applications. Then what you have right below the uh, ribbon is also, this is the function toolbar or uh, where you enter your different functions and formulas where they are displayed. And then right below this is what our, what our um, spreadsheet or worksheet, actually the worksheet view is. And I'll cover those in a few seconds here. Now notice in the bottom here, there are three different sheets here that are by default as you enter or as you create, or as you create a new spreadsheet in Excel. Uh, think of those just like pages of a notebook, and uh, you can do calculations on the first sheet and then link those calculations with other items in the second one and third one. And you can create new worksheets by simply clicking on this insert worksheet component right here. So notice I uh, inserted a worksheet for. Now you can also rename those worksheets. So you could uh, just, let's say you are dealing with different months of the year. And these are just some of the basic concepts here. Just right click, choose rename, and then you could call it for example January. So you can uh, get the idea here and adding other sheets. And as far as the number of rows and columns here, you basically can insert up to a million uh, rows and 16,000 columns. So what are some of the other components here? Notice that um, as you open this, any of these worksheets, by the way, this is misspelled here. Notice you have these numbers, one, and it keeps on going. Basically, it keep on going all the way to a million if you keep on scrolling here. And then you have those columns, so the letters A, B, C, D, and so on. So those can go up to 16,000 columns. So you have the rows and the columns here. Now, wherever you click here in the worksheet, that is referred to as the active cell. And the active cell has usually a, an address. So the address for this cell where I have clicked right now, it would be where the column meets with the row here. So this would be B3. This next one, it would be D6. 
that will be F6. And notice it also displays it right here. So the concept so far is that you have the rows and the columns. It's going to have a, quite a few of them. Each one of them has an address. Now in these cells, you can add different type of data. You can insert in here, and notice the type of data that you can insert. It could be a general number or general type of data, no specific format. It could be a number, currency. It could be accounting format type of uh, numbers. It could be a date or a percentage, fraction, or text. So basically, uh, remember this is, you could put text here, numbers, percentages, and formulas. Uh, we'll cover the formulas shortly as well, but all formulas in Excel start with the equal sign. So that's an example of a formula, by the way, and we'll get into that shortly. So that's it uh, basically on just getting started very briefly with Excel, the different components of the interface and the different uh, the worksheets here. These are referred to as the worksheet. The actual file, when you save it, that is uh, referred to as a spreadsheet made up of the different workbooks. So next we'll go into some of the actual entering of the data and uh, doing some of the basic calculations in Excel. Welcome back. Uh, in this section I'm going to cover uh, some of the basic functions in using Excel. Those would be some of the functions such as adding a bunch of numbers, finding the maximum number, the average, counting a bunch of numbers, and, and subtracting and multiplying and so on. Some of those basic arithmetic concepts that you have learned, those come in very handy in here in Excel and you'll use them constantly as you plan on using Excel. So let's get started. Uh, basically, uh, the function, you still say, well, what where are the functions? How many of them are there? So if you click here on the tab formulas and you click on insert functions, you'll see a listing of all the functions if you choose this drop down here. And there are hundreds and hundreds of those functions. We'll not cover anywhere close to uh, most of them. We'll actually just touch some of the basic stuff here in Excel because basically Excel is endless in what you can learn and what you can do with it. So for example, the sum function that we were talking about and using earlier, it is listed somewhere in here. And there it is. For example, sum, it adds all the numbers in a range. You can add those numbers like number one, comma, number two, comma, number three, but if you have a long range, then you use the colon to determine the starting point and the end point and everything in between. So that's pretty much the stuff on the concept and the function. So it's the idea here is that it's a lot of them, it's hundreds of them, and uh, to understand them better, you can click right here under the insert function. And then also if you click on help on this function, Microsoft will bring up the help menu or the help guides on how to use this function with examples and things of that nature. Keep in mind as well that all these functions work the same across any other types of spreadsheet software out there. So there it gives you the example. So let's go back. Now let's say we want to find the maximum number, the highest number in this range. So what we do is we remember that the all formulas start with an equal sign. So we type equal. And then we want to uh, get the maximum number. So you'd say, well, how do I know what the function for maximum is? You could either click on insert function here under formulas and then insert function, or you could just take a guess at it and do just max, uh, max, for example. And notice Excel gives you a listing of close matches to it. So now we'll choose, for example, max. And it tells you that it returns the largest value in a set of values. So if we choose max here, 
and then we want the range to 